wondering the way this game was going to down the stretch with both teams scoring going back and forth were you kind of anticipating this might be one where it just comes down to whoever has the ball last no i mean i feel good about our defense i feel like they were due for a big stop we had a chance there uh sav you know almost was able to hold on to that pick get us the ball back at the 40 but i mean kirk's had a really nice season he played uh played really well today and we just started a little bit too slow, you know, didn't score enough points. All right, next up, we're going to go to Pete Doherty of the Green Bay Press Gazette. Go ahead, Pete. Hey, Aaron. Um, I'm wondering, what do you think of the prospects of playing the rest of the season without Elton Jenkins? Oof. Oh, man, he's been so versatile for us. Uh, you know, he can play every position on the line. I think he's played at least four of them. So definitely hate to see that happen. Not sure what his official status uh, is coming out of the game. But, you know, with Dave, uh, Dave's status unknown, uh, you know, we're going to have to rely on probably Yash. He's played some good football for us. So uh, proud of the way he stepped in. But uh, hopefully the news isn't so bad with Elton. Next up, Rob Demosky, ESPN. Go ahead, Rob. Aaron, can you just quickly take us through the, the play to Marquez? And then at, at that point, are you, obviously you have to score, but is there any fear like, well, we scored too soon? Not really. Uh, the play was, you know, an, an old play in the, in the old offense um, that we've uh, kind of revamped the last uh, – I don't know, six, eight weeks. Called it a few times. We called it today probably three or four times. Uh, just made a slight adjustment. Putting, uh, We called it on the second to last drive. And Quez was at number two. He ran a corner out. They dropped him. Um, so, actually, I moved Randall to the two spot, thinking that you know, he's a good corner runner. And his angle would be a little higher than Marquez's on the, on the when we looked at the pictures on the sidelines. And Marquez's speed at three is always, uh, you know, an attention getter. They decided to bring pressure. And, uh, you know, I kind of look left first to uh, to Devontae. Uh, and that kind of held uh, uh, Harrison down there on that side. And Quez just had a one-on-one -on, -one on the safety, took a really nice angle. And I was uh, – protection held up. I was able to, to uh, do my footwork I've been doing for 17 years on that play and retreat back and, and put a ball in a good spot. You know, once ball's in Quez's hands, that's, you know, he's taking that to the house. Next up, we go Jason Wildey, Wisconsin State Journal. Go ahead, Jason. Aaron, it didn't look like your toe bothered you at all. You had the long run. You were able to move the way you normally do. But, you know, the fact that you're not able to practice, is it a big concern for you? And is it, what is it exactly? Is it like Devontae with the turf toe a couple of years ago or what? No, and I've had turf toe. It's a little worse than turf toe. Um, I'm just going to have to get through the bye and and, uh, and hope I can get some some healing uh, over the bye week. Uh, you know, probably the same schedule next week. I uh, was in a lot of pain, went in a halftime early to get it checked out. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, it's... Uh, very, very painful. Got stepped on in the first half, and that kind of activated all the symptoms I was having. So uh, it's going to be another painful week next week, and then hopefully start to feel a little better in the bye. All right, next up, we're going Tom Silverstein, Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. Go ahead, Tom. Aaron, of um, all the uh, drives that maybe you, that you weren't able to convert, was there one that bothered you more than any other that you thought uh, you could have scored on that? I mean, the first drive of the game to, to go out and get seven would have been great. Hit Tay on the crossing route, turned into a 40-yard gain to get us going. And, uh, you know, we came back and looked like there was, you know, P.I. on Marquez. On a, you know, that would have been a 10-yard gain. Um, you know, then we had to settle for a 54-yard field goal. So that was – I think that was definitely frustrating. Um, there were some other frustrating drives for sure. But, um, you know, they played two shell the majority of the game. They played a little bit of one high here and there, but but a lot of two shell and 
you know, once we kind of got to some more spread out formations, I feel like there were some big open spots, especially in the middle, and we started hitting them and moving Devontae around and putting them in a slot on the two side, put them in the, in the three spot on a, on a one by three and just giving them some different looks, giving them some opportunities to kind of free up. That was that was what kind of got us going. All right, next up, Aaron Nagler. Go ahead, Aaron. Aaron, on the end around to EQ, given that you haven't practiced all week, have you practiced that before? Because you were like Jason Williams NBA style with your ball handling there. It looked like it was like magician style. I do appreciate that reference being a big Kings fan growing up. Um, but we, you know, we borrowed that play from a, an offense very similar to ours. And I just tried to mimic what I saw Matt Stafford do on the clip. Um, so that was a great run by EQ. I'm, I'm really proud of EQ. You know, I, I got a hold of him and had a nice conversation with him at the end of training camp when he was released. And I just felt like there was going to be an opportunity for him at some point during the season. But today, what he did, you know, especially on those two catches in the end around, um, that was pretty awesome. But to finish up your answer, uh, you know, I took a walk through rep of that during the week, and that was good enough for me to, to feel good about the ball handling and the uh, uh, and the kind of flip point. All right, next up, we're going to go Wes Hodkowitz, Packers.com. Go ahead, Wes. Hey, Aaron, uh, what did you see on the pass to DeGuara? And just how big is that moment, you know, for a young tight end, kind of going off an extended play there to, to connect with him? Yeah, it was good to get his first touchdown. Um, we ran a three-man combo to his side. Uh, they stayed inside leverage. Uh, so I went to my backside read, which is Devontae running a stick uh, return. And he ran a great stick, and then Anthony uh, kind of held him. Uh, and so I kind of was able, I got off it. I was thinking there was going to be a flag there and kind of moved to my left. As I moved to my left, uh, I was thinking about running for a second and then he just flashed on me. Uh, he, he was, I think he was three, number three in, in the, in the three by two. And so he just obviously just took it up and then broke out, uh, when he saw me scramble and my, made a nice catch, but he's been, uh, he does a lot of dirty work for us. A lot of, you know, slides to the backside and cuts and, and, you know, some flat routes and stuff and play some pullback for us. So I was really happy for her, for him to get that, uh, that first touchdown. All right. Next up, we'll go Bill Huber, Maven Media. Go ahead, Bill. Hey, Aaron, can you take us through the second touchdown to Devante where the, the snap was goofed up? He didn't block Griffin. Devante got wide open. Well, they, they brought an empty pressure. Bill. Uh, so they brought six with five blockers. Um, I was actually winding it down to call timeout and Lucas decided to snap it uh, early. Uh, he says that I changed the snap count. I, I don't know if that was uh, correct there, but uh, the clock was running down and I had just turned to Sean to call timeout. And as I turned, that ball snapped. So I caught it. I knew we were going to squeeze to the left side. So it was going to be me and uh, Griffin kind of mono we mono there. I looked to the inside route, which I believe is, was uh, Marquez, maybe. Um, he was covered. I gave a little stutter step to uh, to Everson, and I saw Tay had beaten this guy, had stutter stepped his guy and, and beaten him. And so I just tried to get it up in the air and, and get it out there. Um, turned into a pretty sweet play, though. All right, next up we'll go Rachel Hopmeyer, NBC26. Go ahead. Hey, Aaron, you know, with the emphasis that you've had last year and this year, you know, on cherishing the moment about enjoying what's in front of you, were there any moments you did that today in a, in a back and forth struggle, you know, and how do you do that when it's such a contested game? I, I appreciate the environment. We've had some, some back and forths here over the years, and we opened the stadium up uh, years ago. It uh, wasn't quite as loud today as it uh, has been in some of those past games. Maybe that's because there's a lot of Packer fans here, which was awesome. The support was great. But, uh, you know, I do enjoy the battles against uh, Coach Zimmer and that defense. He played against Anthony and Eric and Harrison for a long time. Everson's back with them. Uh, so I do enjoy the battles. Uh, Zim is a great coach and a uh, great scheme and always mixes things up, and it's a chess match. But. It was fun to have some success today, but, you know, disappointing we're coming up on the short end. 
All right, next up we go to MK Burgess, WFRV TV. Go ahead. MK? Okay, never mind. We'll move on. Um, next up we'll go to Kyle Malzahn, MWFRV TV as well. Aaron, how good did it feel to get or find Devonte Adams twice in the end zone? Uh, it always is nice throwing him the ball. He's got a big catch radius. Uh, the first one was a big uh, deep crossing route there in the red zone, and the protection was great on that play. And I actually came back to see if Kabi, if they had dropped Kabi on the backside. By the time I came back to Tay, he was getting double covered, and the protection was so good. I just kind of slid to my right and was pointing him back the other side, and he made a nice catch. And you know, I detailed the. The second one that was that was just a great route by him, and I was able to buy enough time. But you know, I am proud of Marquez. Uh, we've missed on some opportunities this year. Missed yeah, missed on one today, but we had a couple big plays throughout the game, and obviously the big touchdown to to, to bring us back even there in the fourth was was pretty special to get him the ball uh, in space down the field. All right, we'll go back to Rob Demoski of ESPN. Go ahead, Rob. Aaron, this is, I know it's such a week to week league, but big picture, where do you think you guys need to get better down the stretch? I think at times in the last couple of years, we've been so good in the first, uh, you know, the first 15 or 20 plays uh, that we script and uh, scoring on opening drives, touchdowns. It hasn't really been the case this year. We've been a lot slower starting. So we got to look at that. Uh, haven't been great in situational offense, uh, especially in the red zone comparatively. Uh, today we were a little bit better, but you know we got to get touchdowns and and our defense have been playing so good. You know some games you get outscore teams uh, that are that get hot on offense, and you know we had an opportunity to score 40 points today. And when you're playing a you know offense that's hot, that has a hot quarterback and and stud receivers and the stud back. You know, you got to keep scoring. We've had a couple games like this over the years, like about 2012, uh, especially, you know, where we got outscored, got outscored them at their place. Um, so we didn't do that today. Uh, but I think for us personally on offense, we got to start faster. We got to score touchdowns uh, on those opening plays. So, um, you know, I know Matt will be looking at that this week and, and dial up some good stuff for, uh, for LA. All right, and we got time for one more, so we'll go to Ryan Wood of the Green Bay Press Gazette. Go ahead, Ryan. Hey, Aaron, just along those lines, when you've got a receiver on the other side going off the way Justin Jefferson did today, how much is that in your conscience? I mean, how much are you aware of that? How much does that put pressure on, on the offense to kind of keep pace? Yeah, I mean, we knew that uh, they had some explosiveness on offense. Obviously played against Adam for a long time, and Justin is a – Super talented young player. Kirk's been playing really well. So we knew we had to take care of the football and we had to maximize our possessions. I mean, we had, uh, I believe, just three possessions in the second half and scored touchdowns on all of them. But we had an opportunity in the first half to do a better job putting points on the board and, and converting on some third downs in the red zone. So, uh, I mean, it, it's not necessarily a conscious effort when Justin's going nuts. It's just we knew we had to maximize our possessions uh, that they could shrink the game could shrink the game a little bit we just didn't do that in the first half